Hi guys, my name is Ip Malik, welcome to a new video here at the workshop. You have a problem, you turned on your computer or laptop, but Windows does not load, you see white dots constantly spinning on a black screen and nothing else happens. What can be done? In the beginning, you just need to wait a little. Wait 15 or 20 minutes and the Windows operating system may load. It may be that system updates are being installed, so you need to wait a bit. But if Windows doesn't load in any way, you need to force shut down your computer or laptop. To do this, press and hold the power button. Wait for the computer to turn off. After turning off the computer, wait 2-3 to three minutes and turn it on. This time the Windows operating system will boot quickly and there will be no black screen with spinning white dots. But if this did not help you and Windows does not boot again and white dots are spinning on the black screen, force shut down the computer again and now you need to enter the system recovery program on the computer. To do this, connect the installation USB flash drive Windows 8, 10 or Windows 11 to the PC, turn on your PC and call the boot menu. To do this, immediately after the start of the reboot, constantly press the key on your keyboard to call the boot menu. I have this key, F9. You may have, F8, F9, F11, F12, or some other key. You can see how to call the boot menu in my other video, the link is in the description for this video. Find your bootable USB flash drive in the boot menu, press, enter. If you have connected a USB flash drive Windows 11, 10 or Windows 8, wait for the Windows installation menu to open. But we will not install anything, click, next. Here we click, repair your computer. This is the first way to enter the system recovery program. Method number 2. If, after turning on the computer, Windows freezes on its logo, press the reset button on the system unit to force restart the PC or hold the power button until the computer turns off. After a few seconds turn the PC back on. When the Windows logo first appears, immediately press the reset button again, or force shut down the computer. On the laptop, use the power button to force shut down. Do this two or three times until a white font appears on the screen. This is loading the system recovery program. No problems were found during the automatic recovery and diagnostics of the system. And now you need to click advanced settings. The main menu of the program has opened. Press troubleshoot. In Windows 8, this may look different, but the content of the options will remain the same. Here click, Advanced Options. If you click, Startup Repair, the computer will restart again and perform system diagnostics, but we already did that. Sometimes problems in Windows arise from the received updates from Microsoft, and to uninstall the latest updates, click, Uninstall Updates, and follow the recommendations of the program. It is possible that after uninstalling these updates, your problems will be resolved. Next. You can get rid of problems if you restore the system according to the restore point created earlier on your computer. We click, System Restore. The system warns that after restoration, all your documents and other data will not be affected, but some data and programs installed after creating the restore point will be deleted. Next. Here you need to click on the restore point, and click, Next. Next, the last warning of the program, I click, yes, and the recovery process has begun. After some waiting, the process completed successfully. Restart. It is possible that you did not take care to create a system restore point in advance. Let's see the last two possibilities to solve the problem with your computer. Here I select the last option and click System Image Recovery. After restarting the computer, we see a program message that there is no system image on my computer that would help me solve my problems. I have not previously created a system image using Windows, but I have system images that I created earlier using a program a chronic true image. I use this program all the time, and for me it is much more convenient. If you are interested in learning about it, you can watch the video on my channel on how to use a chronic true image, the link is in the video description.
From the main menu, click, Troubleshot, then click, Reset this PC. Here we see two options, if you select Keep My Files, then as a result of the process, all personal data, passwords, photos, documents and other files will be saved on Drive C. All programs, games and applications that you yourself installed will be removed, and if your computer was previously infected with a virus that your antivirus program could not detect, this virus will also be completely removed. The first option to reset the PC can help solve many problems with the operating system, but the second method is much more radical. If you select, remove everything, then as a result of the process, all old data on the C drive will be completely deleted, and you will receive a computer as if you bought it in a store. You will receive a new account and a new password, Windows will be activated automatically, and if the cause of the problems was in the operating system, as a result, there will be no problems on the C drive. In order not to make the video too long, I will not show here how to reset the PC. Both processes, keep my files and remove everything, you can see in my other video, the link is in the description. The next option, troubleshooting with command prompt. Write, notepad, press, enter. A notepad window has opened, now click, file, then, open. And in that window, click, this PC. Here we see several disks and we need to find the disk where Windows is located. My Windows is located on the partition marked with the letter E. My local drive C is reserved by the system. I select the local drive E and we see the files of the Windows operating system. You can also find the Windows disk, then open it. There you should see a program files folder, a users folder, and so on. You may have a completely different letter on your local drive with the Windows operating system. Please remember your letter with the Windows drive. We close notepad and now we will check the integrity of Windows system files using a special command. Write the command, s, f, c, space, slash to the right side, scan now. Space, slash to the right, off booter. Equals, I write the letter, E, but you write your own letter which is assigned to your local Windows drive, then, colon, slash to the left, space, slash to the right, off window. Equals, I write my letter, E, you write your letter, colon, slash to the left, Windows. Press, Enter. The system is being scanned, wait a while and if any errors are found, they will be automatically corrected. After the process is completed, close the command prompt, restart the computer and the Windows operating system should boot successfully. And if the operating system still does not load, you need to check the hard drive for errors. Open a command prompt and write, chkdsk, space, I write the letter E, you write your drive letter, colon, space, right slash, F, space, right slash, R, press, enter. You may need to confirm disabling the volume during the disk check period, then press Y and so the verification process began. After the process is completed, close the command line, restart the computer and check the loading of the Windows operating system. But if the operating system still does not boot, then there may be a hardware reason for this problem. You may have a problem with your hard drive and Windows will not boot because of this, or there may be a problem with some components of the computer and you will have to take the computer to a service center. This concludes my video review, and if it was useful for you, please share my video with anyone. Thank you very much. Good luck.